So good morning, my friends, on this freezing cold Cape Town morning. A lot of stuff that's come up over the last week, as I quite see in a lot of websites, is that so many people don't really understand what blood counts are. A lot of people are coming out of clinics and asking questions on websites about what's the CD4, what's the viral load, you know, which count should be this, which count should be that. So I always use this very, very simple example of how to explain to someone in simple terms what a CD4 and a viral load is. And I'm going to show you the video now. It's really basic. And it's childproof and it's extremely uh, intellectually friendly. So anyway, um, I hope it does help and I hope people get a better idea of what their status is. My CD4 is currently 800 and my viral load has been undetectable for 17 years. So think about my numbers and then maybe look at yours. If you have any questions, please get back to me on my Facebook page, at Niles HIV, and I'll answer your questions. Cheers, and have a great Sunday. Hi guys, so this is a part of the demonstration. So what you have here is your CD4 blood cell and your viral load. A CD4 cell is your healthy fighting blood cells. The viral load is the amount of HIV in the blood. What your doctor will do is take one milliliter of blood from your body and that is what gets sent to the lab for testing. If you are HIV negative all the blood is going to stay in this pile and your viral load is zero. If you are HIV positive some of these cells are going to be shifted over into the viral load pile. Okay, it's kind of clear as you can get it. So this will show your viral load and this will show your CD4. Your CD4 in a healthy person will be anything between 12 and 1500. Your viral load should be zero. In this case, it's not zero. But we don't know what the number is because I can't sit and count all the grains. But they can look in that cell and tell you what your viral load is. It could be anything from naught to millions. As the virus keeps attacking the body, the CD4 cells move across here into the viral load. This is a point at which you're going to start to get sick. Sometimes we call this zero conversion. This is the point where you really need to start treatment because once all these CD4 cells have moved into this viral load pile, you have full-blown AIDS and you're very, very sick. What medication does is it stops these cells here from reproducing. So if they can't reproduce, they can't get any bigger and they stop functioning. So, the more medication you take, and the regular you take it, the blood moves back over to the CD4. Eventually, if you're good with your medication, you are going to have an undetectable viral load and a high CD4 count. Once you have an undetectable viral load, you cannot transmit HIV to another person. This is why it's important for everyone to take their medication. Let's all get to here and stop worrying about staying here. I hope this helps and clears some things up for you.